Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, I want to talk about how to find the distance between two points on a small circle. So, what is a small circle? Well, basically, any point that is any circle that is not a great circle is a small circle. So, on the Earth, what are the great circles? We got the lines of longitude going through the center of the Earth. As well as the equator, which also goes through the center of the Earth. So, where are the small circles? Well, the small circles are basically circles that are parallel to the equator. So, these circles actually, I should probably draw them with a different color. So, um, these circles, horizontal circles that do not. Um, go through the center of the earth so the circumference of small circles are a lot are well depends on which one but they will be smaller or shorter than a great circle so these lines of latitude every line of latitude except the equator is a small circle so let's now pick two points on the same latitude and find the distance between them so let's go through to N30, which is this line here, N30, this line right here. And let's try to find two cities. Okay, so let's use Chongqing, which is at N30, as you can see. So this line here is N30, north 30 degrees. And then... Um, Chongqing is situated at E107, 107 degrees east, and Zhejiang is located at E120. Okay, as you can see here, E119 is there, E120, E121, as you can see on these numbers. And E107 is over there. So yeah, we want to find the distance between Chongqing and Zhejiang. So let's write these numbers down into another um, page so we have Chong Chong Ching which is at E107 or 107 degrees east however you uh, see it written in your textbook Zhejiang forgot how you spell it is at E120 Okay, and they're both on North 30, which is very important. Okay, they're both 30 degrees north, which is very important because if they're not on the same um, latitude, then this is not going to work. We're now doing points that are finding the distance between points that are on the same latitude, which is the same small circle. So let's go through the steps. To find the distance between two points on a small circle. Step one, find angular distance. Now, I'm also going to add a word in front of the term angular distance, which is shortest angular distance. So what does shortest angular distance mean? Well, basically, it just means if we go back to the um, if we go back to the Google Earth, you can see Chongqing is here and Zhejiang is here. Now, if you were going to go from Chongqing to Zhejiang, you would obviously go from this way to the right. Okay, to Zhejiang, you're not going to go all the way around the Earth on the other side. Okay, you're not going to go all the way around the earth. So zoom out a bit. You're not going to go all the way around. Let's turn it. So you're not going to go all the way around the other way. All the way around this way. Back to Zhejiang. Because that's just, that's just uh, unheard of. You would go the quicker way. So that's why you want the shortest angular distance. So if we have a look at our working out, 
the shortest angular distance is simply 120 minus 107. 120 degrees minus 107, which is 13 degrees. And we have our shortest angular distance. So that's easy to do. But what if these two numbers do not both go east? So let's say I have a um, 30 degrees west on some city and um, let's do 170 degrees east on another city. So how would you find the angular distance? Well, because one is east and one is west, you would add them. So you would go angular distance equals 30 plus 170, which is 200. But the whole circle is only 360 degrees. So if I draw a circle representing the top down view of the earth, if this circle represents the top down view of the earth and you are at um, let's say zero degrees is here and you want to go from 170 degrees west 170 degrees uh, sorry east not west 170 degrees east to 30 degrees west which is this let's say going to the left is west you want to go from here to here um, you would go the shorter way you would go this is the top down view by the way you would go this way wouldn't you instead of this way which is 200 degrees that way is 200 degrees this way how long is this way well it's simply 360 minus 200 which is 160 so what we're saying here is if this number, if angular distance is larger than 180 degrees, then the shortest angular distance, shortest angular distance equals 360 degrees minus the angular distance minus the angular distance and that will give you the shortest angular distance so sometimes you might be asked to do that okay now let's go to step two because we found the shortest angular distance um, step two is use a different color multiply shortest angular distance by um, 111.2 kilometers cosine theta which we're going to explain in a second so all you got to do is you get this number which is 13 degrees and you multiply it by 111.2 kilometers cosine what's theta theta is simply the latitude degree which in this case is 30 degrees okay so you just type 30 instead of cosine so you just go 13 times 111.2 times cosine 30 so 30 instead of theta and then you type that into your calculator and you will see that it equals so let's go um, 13 times uh, 111.2 times cosine make sure it says degrees on your calculator times cosine 30 okay so let's put that in and you got <clears throat> 1251 degrees uh, sorry kilometers 1,251 kilometers which is the distance between um, Chongqing and Zhejiang 1,251 
Okay, so um, let's now talk about where this cost 30 came from because you're probably wondering why, but chances are you don't need to prove it during the exam. So you have, if you have no interest, just skip to the next video. But here is the reason. Now, if you guys have a look at this side view of the Earth, okay, this is a side view of the Earth. We got the equator. This is the equator. Okay, now I'm just going to draw a true side view where the equator is a horizontal straight line. Okay, so instead of doing a 3D view, this is a side view. Equator is in the middle. Now, a small circle would be somewhere over here. Okay, now if it's a small circle of 30 degrees north, it means that the angle between the edge and the center of the circle is 30 degrees it means this angle is 30 degrees if this is 30 degrees north if this line is 30 degrees north okay so if you guys remember our radius of the earth is 6371 kilometers so that is the length of this line. This line is 6,371 kilometers. So if I want to now <coughs> find the radius of the small circle, which is the radius from here, if you can imagine this from a top-down view, here's the center of the small circle and the line goes right to the edge is the radius if i want to find the length of this line let's call it um, x using simple trigonometry i have a right angle triangle and it's simply um so i have this line is there for well i know that this angle is going to be 30 degrees as well using the z rule of trigonometry so it's simply cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse cosine 30 equals x over 6371 so x which is the radius of the small circle is 6371 times cos 30 Okay, so X is the radius of the small circle. Okay, so what about the circumference of the small circle? Circumference, oops, what did I spell that as? Circumference of small circle... So we want now the distance all the way around this small circle. We want a distance all the way around it. So then that'll just be 2 pi r. So that's 2 pi times 6371 times cos 30. And that'll obviously give you um, 40,030. times cos 30 now I'm just gonna re rename all the 30s to theta because it might not be 30 right theta can be anything so whenever I've got 30 just pretend that it's theta okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now divide this by 360 all right, so one degree on small circle, so distance for one degree on small circle is simply the circumference, which is 40030 cos 30, divided by 360, which is 111.2 cos 30. Okay, which is 111.2 cos theta because it doesn't matter what angle this number 30 is, you still work it out the same way. 
So that is why one degree on the small circle is one 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 point two cos theta, and that is why you multiply the number of degrees in this case one one in this case thirteen degrees by one 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 point two theta. Okay, I hope this video has helped you guys. See you guys next time.